Yo, what's up guys? It's the Goblin. Today what I have for you guys is a solo double Moab playing some solo ground war 9v9 domination on the map underground. The class setup that I'm using is one that I haven't showed you guys in a while. It's the PP90 with the silencer and the extended mags. Um, my perk setup is scavenger, hardline, and sit rep. And my specialist unlocks of sleight of hand, quick draw, and assassin. This is the class that I got um, one of the first triple mobs ever with on dome. That video, I'm um, sure most of you guys have seen it. You know, this is a class that I have lots of fun playing with that I just haven't been using lately because the PP90 is a good gun and I've been trying to get you guys some different gun you know mobs MP5 UMP with after the patch and stuff like that but the PP90 is definitely a gun that it used to be my favorite SMG how my SMG favoritism or whatever went in Modern Warfare 3 was I started off loving the um loving the PP90 then I switched over to the MP7 and now I'm in love with the P90 so those are all guns that you know you should definitely check out those three submachine guns are probably what I have the most kills on on Call of Duty um, on Modern Warfare 3 I don't know you can check Call of Duty Elite and stuff I'm guessing I have the most kills with probably P90 uh, PP90 maybe ACR and stuff like that but yeah so today what I have for you guys is an 82 and 2 double more playing completely solo I just want to thank you guys for um, over 2,000 likes already on the latest video I said as soon as it hit 1500 likes I was going to post my next video i woke up with over 2,000 likes so i'm doing this commentary in the morning and i got right on it right away to uh pump out this commentary for you guys again i think i'm gonna have to raise the likes up so if we can hit two oh i capture b here as well if we can hit 2,000 likes on this video then i will pump up the next commentary as soon as we hit it so you know if you guys want to get that next video start pumping the like button i think this is a very good thing so i can start you know uploading way more videos before school comes out i can start uploading more videos and lots of solo stuff i think this gameplay is definitely deserving of a like as well i think it's something that you guys will enjoy you know you guys don't want to always tell me you want to see some solo stuff you want to see double mobs and this game i didn't really have time for the triple mob and i'll explain why it's because the game only lasted about eight minutes or eight and a half minutes um we were triple capping for most of it and i got the double moab i got the first moab at about 80 or 90 points and i got the second moab um, right near the end you guys can see i think it's like 170 180 points but because we were winning by so much I didn't have time to you know go and get myself killed and try and go for the solo triple moab which is something that I really want to get before black ops 2 and the solo triple moab in my opinion is um better than a quad moab it, the solo triple is probably similar to the penta with the team something like that but the solo triple would definitely be better than a quad with support and uh, that's something that i really want to get and really would think that that gameplay could you know have potential to go viral or be a very good video on my channel and uh, probably the best maps for that are you know playing 6v6 on hard hat or dome or something like that you just got to get the first moab at 60 points the second one at around 120 or something like that and then get the third moab you know right before the end of the game and see if you can call them all in but underground is my map you know I this is my solo map I always play well on this map I always pick up double mobs long gun streaks and the reason for that I think is because of how I maneuver the map you notice this little area right here this train station look where I am I'm staying behind cover here I'm never walking right up look at my teammate right here look at that guy that I just killed he just ran straight down the stairs into the middle of a train station there was guys on head glitches all around him he was an easy pickings easy target to take out and that is something that I would not recommend doing what my teammate did there and what the enemy did there they, they create a big profile for themselves and as you pop out from the stairs you can easily pick them off and stuff like that as long as you stick to the outskirts of the map and especially on a map like this this map is kind of shaped like it's kind of like an oval so right so you want to run routes around the outskirts of the map you can cut through d different spots that you find safe you know if i like to cut through the middle there i'm definitely not going to run uh, to the left by where that guy was i'm going to take the right i'm going to take those stairs down there i'm going to try and create a low profile because when the enemies aren't expecting you when the enemies don't know where you're at that's how you can flank them that's how you can get all up in their grill and take them out and that's how you can just dominate playing solo is by surprising the enemies coming up behind them taking them by surprise which is something that I'm doing right here as you can see um, I had my headset in this game I was talking with my buddy and I had my headset in there my aim goes whack and I was freaking out I almost died there because of a little glitch where when I was reloading my aim just went whack to the ceiling but yeah as you see here I see lots of guys coming on my radar I'm not gonna rush it I want to be able to get this mo up I'm gonna take it a bit slower I'm going Going to you know make sure that there's there's like four or five guys around me I'm gonna make sure that I'm able to pick them all off and you know just let them come to me these guys weren't the best in this game and I saw that before the lobby and I said you know everyone be quiet be quiet I gotta go for this I'm going for the solo triple and then I realized that I would have a good shot at the double as you can see the point margin right here is 170 to 90 so had this game you know been a lot closer could have got that solo triple Moab and uh, that's definitely gonna be one of my goals and something that I go for when I play without stream and I haven't been streaming that much lately um, might stream a little bit more more before school goes back in and then once school goes back in probably I'll be streaming every lot every weekend or something like that but I won't have much time during the weekdays 
But as you can see, this gameplay pretty good. Um, you know, I do like playing solo, and I like to run around with SMGs, and I had a lot of fun this game. And I mean that this game was probably, you know, one of the most fun games of Call of Duty I've had in a while. I go 82 and two, and uh, I think the first gun streak was like a 35 or something, not too special. Here I go pretty ham, and then I'll show you guys the scoreboard. It's a uh, 82 and two, double mo up, 11 assists. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like rating. Once we get 2,000 likes, I'll put out another video, or else I'll put one out tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Leave me a comment on what's your favorite SMG in the game. You know, I, I always see this, and I'm just wondering, do you guys like the PP90? And if you do, uh, why do you rather run the silencer or the rapid fire and extended mags? And as always, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, homie, I'm coming, I'm coming, and I'm never gonna give up. My mentality is making rappers feel like they can never even live up to logic. You bust, I dodge it. Think you see me now? Nah, you just mirage it. I'm gunning, I'm gunning like a semi automatic. That's putting your quip with lyricism to let them have it. I blast it. Any style that you coming at me with, I master it. I sun motherfuckers, then I'm out on you bastards.